Hello, everybody. I am Angry Bird. <laughs> Angry Bird. <laughs> so, we have for you today the first of a number of games. I'll actually work out how many <laughs> in a bit. Of the uh, Brawl on Breast uh, tournament. Um, recently organised by the uh, Steel Division League guys and uh, this was a closer combat tournament um, and there's a preview of the bracket on screen now so the first game we have for you today is game actually down as game number four Sean versus Trista Command let's just jump straight in and have a look at the decks if you see in the right hand side huge deployment zone this is closer combat, um, so deployment zone much bigger than obviously the normal conquest we're used to seeing in the Steel Division League. And also, if my voice is sounding uh, really quite gruff at the moment, it's uh, I, w I was out last night drinking pretty heavily, and uh, it's very early in the morning. I'm trying to fit fit these games in so that uh, I can bring them all to you. Um, this coming week so <laughs> very early start for me still still hung over <laughs> right we have <laughs> let's uh, let's get off that let's get on to the games so this is the brawl on breast tournament up today we have Sean playing the 84th guards and he's playing a balanced deck he is up against Trista command playing the fifth Viking also playing a balanced deck so let's have a look at sean's deck displayed this is obviously closer combat so we we expect to maybe see some more anti-tank guns and potentially some more support guns uh, because you can place them pretty close to the front already as we can see um i don't know whether we'll be able to see this yes up here Sean has this M42 gun that's placed without a transport. So, uh, and down in the southern side as well, another M42 without a transport. So you can place down um, anti-tank guns. Well, you can place down, you know, anything that comes in the transport, you can place it down without the transport. Um, so we might see some of that. Well, we are already are seeing some of it as well. Um, in terms of the 84th guards, plenty of IS-2s. Um, Sean going heavy in C phase with the IS-2, so he's got two IS-2s in B phase and 10, 10 IS-2s in C phase. Wow, Trista Command is going to have a hard time if he makes it to C phase. He's going to have a hard time against those IS-2s. So I think um, Sean's kind of going quite... Uh, He's going to be relying on his micro. He's going for sort of quality. He's up vetted the Zist three guns in A phase to one star veteran veterancy. So he's only taking two of those instead of the normal three. And um, he's got plenty of anti air and also the uh, 85 mil anti tank uh, flat flat guns. Not not anti tank gu guns. Uh, sorry, the 85 mil anti air flat guns and uh, Sean was saying the other day that he quite liked this uh, those and I'd l I'm glad to see them in action I really am so let's just more uh, move over to uh, Trista Command's deck because I can see a lot of units going down so I don't want to miss any action it obviously starts much closer to the front line as well and um, we have no recon units and we have a fair amount of infantry also two cards of Panzergrens in C phase so a fair bit of C phase infantry not you know a great deal but I guess well 84th guards they get a lot of decent infantry as well in terms of tanks um, well B and C phase are going to be the phases that matter coming up against those IS-2s and uh, actually not a great deal of tanks he has the five pack 40s in b phase and the focke wolf f8s are going to be so important for him but the game is underway i don't want to miss the action and um well in terms of deployments both sides well they're both playing balanced it looks like trista command going for an early attack into the central area the uh, panzer 4h opening up taking out one of uh, sean's infantry early on and 
Trista Command's got the, uh, is that the, is that the command vehicle? Yes, the commander very far up north with that pack 3850. So he's up vetting the, uh, pack 3850. Um... But strange choice to have the commander up there from the start. It's a heavy investment um, just to kind of upvet a pack gun. Um, I don't have the the commander's 80 points just to upvet a pack 3850. So uh, yeah, no infantry down in this central area. The uh, Zis 3 backed up by an M42. Perfectly placed both to shoot down this main road and down goes the uh, grill. And the T-3485, that's a load of knocked out as well. I feel like this one's going to go down any minute. Gun jammed, so that's the shot that matters. The uh, two Panzergrens engaging against the Ogden Machiki in the southern side. And uh, potentially if these Ogden Machiki go down, Sean's got no infantry back here. So we could see some territory swing towards uh, Trista Command, but in this central area... That's Panzer T-34. He's going to go down the advancing infantry. Nothing to hold them back. Even if the T-34 survives, there's, there's nothing to hold back the advancing territory. Uh, interesting, Sean's got his own combat up here. He's using the VZ VOD. And uh, that's up vetting his own infantry to three stars. And in the north as well with the VZ VOD and a little group of infantry. So it's looking like from these top players, um, they're using their infantry in little pockets Little groups up vetting them um, with the command structure. And that's kind of a return to old Steel Division Normandy 44 days. Here's the territory swing. Trista picks up the flag. Uh, brings it back to a 13-11 because Sean, look at this territory swing as well. Both sides having major territory swings. Uh, Trista command interestingly, interestingly using the Bayo Batcher. Um, I think this one's a... This game for him is a bit of a uh, trial by fire. Is that the right phrase? He's basically up against pretty much one of the top two players in the world at this game. And um, we don't see those Bayer Batcher used too often. I'm not, I've not cast Trista Command yet. Um, so I don't... He's He isn't in the uh, Steel Division League, so... Interesting how this one's going to pay out. He has the Panzer IV just controlling this uh, open ground, but <clears throat> Sean not really moving in there at this moment of time. He's kind of picked up these flags, and I feel like Sean's kind of happy where he is. I think if he if he can pick up these two flags here, we could be looking at what a sixteen eight, I believe it will be, um, and they they're quite within his grasp. There's only two Panzergrens in this forest. And a Panzer T-34. So if you can deal with this Panzer T-34. I thought he was going to lose the infantry then. If he can deal with the Panzer T-34 and the two infantry units. Um, he can easily pick that flag up. And then the Panzer Gren is moving through the forest. So eventually could get into a position to take out this M42 gun. Panzer Gren's pushing forwards. Kind of pushing forwards across the road. Um under fire initially I believe from the uh, Gvardias but I think Sean then put them on hold fire Ognamachik is moving up through the forest I think Sean will just be happy where he is I think once he sees this ridge line with the pack 38 and the Panzer 4 he probably won't try and push up there just yet I think he needs to uh, concentrate on the southern side securing this flag but these OB-25s I mean they're going to come into range and uh, Surely those Panzergrens are, I think, luckily, they just retreated in time back into that heavy forest. But uh, those OB-25s, fantastic positioning by Sean, just having them able to fire on this southern forest. The T-34-85 is now engaging the Gabardia. Sean quickly takes them back into the building. But those two OB-25s open fire now. And, uh, yeah, they're making short work of the infantry. We can see why uh, these games were played before the latest patch 2.2. So we can see why infantry guns have been nerfed in A phase. Uh, going down from 6 availability to 4 availability. And uh, we could well see uh, lots of players, instead of taking them in A phase, we could well see them being taken in B phase um, instead. Uh, which will probably mean 
more uh, MG42s, possibly SG43s in A phase to provide that sort of infantry support fire. It might not, it might mean just uh, tanks, cheaper, you know, medium light tanks take up the role that the OB25s and the IG18s had in that early A phase engagement. The Pac 3850, is it going to engage? Yes, it is. Oof. Sean does just unload the Guardia DP. And that's going to let him know the Pac 3850 is there. And the Panzer IV engaging as well. Two Panzer Grens going into the uh, forest. But I feel like Sean's going to swing these Ognimachiki south. And actually, Panzer Grens, they're not really uh, CQC infantry. They are infantry are best used at range. The Panzer Grens in south did try and move forward. But Sean reinforced with some Guardia DP. And uh, has got that covered Sean now pushing forwards with those Gvardia DP um, but I feel like without further supporting fire they won't win out even against are these well there's five Panzergrens in total versus five Gvardia DP in total so I feel like the Panzergrens are going to win out because although this is a one-man squad there are two of them there are two squads and uh, even at one man like even at reduced men, they still fire at the same rate as if there are 10 men uh, on the field. I, I believe that's the case. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But uh, actually, with the uh, Yak-1Bs in support, oof, the Gavardia DP just go down before those Yak-1Bs could come in with those light bombs. But because of the Ognamachiki, the territory is going to swing in favour of Sean. He picks up the 16-8. There's 11 minutes back. I like the investment from Trista Command into the AA that's going to come in in that southern side. Looks like one of the Panzergrens in the north has surrendered. And Sapri, they're going to pick up the kill once they reload the Satchel Charge. And uh, that's going to get rid of those two Panzergrens making a push into the forest. Wow, don't even need the Satchel. There's the Satchel Charge. That might get the kill, actually. Ooh, down to three men. There's the surrender. Yeah, we can see... And as well, this was before the patch. Sapri, uh, we I believe, have been nerfed to uh, five instead of six in A phase. And uh, we can see why they're so strong. Uh, those TNT grenades, very strong at taking out uh, units at 100 meter range. Two Panzergrens coming in to replace the uh, previous Panzergrens that were there. The M42 gun is now set to fire. Will that take out one of the uh, trucks? One shot off, but no. Doesn't get the opportunity to fire for a second time. And Tristan's actually putting a fair bit into the southern side, so I, I think Sean is pretty weak down here, actually. So potentially could make some ground there. The two separate units coming in, one of them is that. Yes, one of them taken out by the Panzer T-34. I quite like the position of this, of this Panzer T-34. Um, although you can't... The line of sight at the moment it, is pretty bad because clearly he just took out this uh, truck back here on the road. Um, so the fact that we can't see that, you know, he can make that shot is pretty, uh, it's pretty bad at the moment. I'd like Eugene to uh, invest some time in fixing this line of sight tool because I feel like... We're missing some crucial elements like it looks like that Panzer IV should be out of uh, line of sight. Oh, I think maybe actually when we look on the M45, it's just in line of sight. But, you know, it's different when we look between the two. I guess it will be different, really. The uh, MG42 and the Panzergrens opening up on that southern side against the Guardia DP. They will win for now, but as soon as this T-34E moves into range, they will lose that battle. The uh, Panzer IV H Führer was crew killed by the M42, and that's that will be a nice uh, critical for Sean. And now, actually, the... Uh, oh, sorry, no. Engaging the Panzergrens there. They will not be able to push forwards. No. Not with those OB25s there. I love that little coverage... Uh, that little area because they're quite far back behind enemy lines like nothing can fire on them at the moment and yet they're just stopping Trista from pushing anything over this bridge um, so nice little position in there they're kind of p 
pinning these units back into this forest. And Sean with the 15-9, he doesn't need to pick up this point. He just needs to protect the points that he's already got. I'm, uh, I'd like Trista to invest a couple of Panzergwens into taking this compound. That's quite an easy flag that he could take there, um, revealing those. I think once those Ognamachiki are revealed, they would go down. So um, he's, he's, taking, he's taking a few things along this sort of a very southern cliff line but uh, I'd rather in invest this Panzergrand and move down into this uh, compound here I know he would take fire from the OB-25 so he needs to set something up to uh, take those out maybe some artillery coming in a mortar to uh, take out these OB-25s he's seen them fire a couple of times now uh, uh, potentially even move his uh Move his T-34-85 up a bit. I mean, I know the M-42 guns here, but he's seen it take out the Panzer IV, so he, he must know that that's just an M-42 gun. Uh, but I feel like there's progress for him to make in that southern side. Sean's pushed through a Guardia DP and reached a very uh, rear flag. And uh, two Yak-1B bombers coming in. I believe that's probably going to be aimed at the uh, Grill and the Panzer IV H. They're currently firing on the OB-25s. One of them has gone down. And uh, let's see if these bombs are successful. Only light payloads. Oh, the grill goes down just before the bombs come in. The Panzers having to fall back and the Guardia DPs are pushing forwards. Oof! And the Panzer goes down to the Zis 3. There is a Guardia DP taking this very rear flag, but I feel like three Panzergrens are going to take out that Guardia. Panzer 4 H has pushed forward. Um, and this, this flag is... Uh, Fairly decently held by Trista for the moment. Wow! When this, when did this Kanaya Rosvedka get into such a fantastic recomposition? It must have come down through this forest and then, and then sort of hopped it over into the uh, light forest and pushed its way up along this river line. But a uh, fantastic positioning from Sean with that. Kanaya Resvedka recon unit. It, do you know what? It's just a shame that this isn't the standard Resvedka with the um, bazooka. Because if he pushed that a little bit further, if it did have the bazooka and pushed it into this building, maybe. I mean, that would be an exceptional place to uh, get those bazooka shots off. But a uh, fantastic positioning with that recon unit. Sean really using his uh, time to micro units into a fantastic position at the moment. And this, yeah, the BEF. SDK have said 251 slash 3 commander is retreating but um, the uh, Gvardia DP they have the PTRD as soon as that's revealed that commander could go down and uh, that would be a massive loss the flak 43 surely will open up and decimate the remaining Gvardia the uh, commander opening up now so Sean knows that commander's there surely he's going to invest some unit oof down from the grill shot at the back goes the Gvardia DP. I'd be surprised if Sean doesn't invest some units to try and take out that commander but here comes the first IS-2 of the game, the IS-2 Comrotti. A really oh and a second one down south as well, a second IS-2 Comrotti and I feel like Sean's going to push forwards with those Comrottis. The BF Panzer IV H commander on the field as well and a Focke-Wulf 190F8 coming in presumably for this southern um, IS-2 and there's no anti-air on the field from Sean right now so this Focke Wolf, you know potentially could get the kill I'm not sure I like the order right now because it's not gonna have time ah, okay so he switched it manually is it gonna have time to uh, turn and fire no it did not have time to turn and fire that's allowing the Yak 1Bs to come in oh and they're gonna get on the back <laughs> oh and down goes that Focke Wolf Ouch, I think Trista Command there, I like the idea that he came down this southern side to try and get the side shot, but I think he pushed that order too far, so the plane, it couldn't turn quickly enough to get that side shot onto the IS-2 Comrotti. He should have maybe made the order here for the plane to move, and uh, that would have given him time to for the plane to turn. It definitely, he wouldn't have got a side shot, but potentially, I mean... I'm guessing he thought there was some AA. There is actually a Zenart 37 mil in that northern side, but uh, potentially he could have just pushed through straight through here. He w he wouldn't have known that when he launched that Fokker Wolf. Um, but the IS-2 survives for now, and the Zenart 37 mil is coming in as well as a Studebaker, presumably to resupply the two OB-25s, and now um, 
well, I guess they're low on heat shells. Those heat shells can be uh, useful at providing extra fire onto the tanks, but the IS-2 Comrotti surely is going to take down this T-34 now. Yes, it does so. And uh, the BF Panzer IV Commander, Panzer IV H Commander, is going to have to be the frontline tank. But um, if it was me, you're just going to have to cede territory and let Sean push this IS-2 forwards, even at where he's pushing it to. That BF 4 Panzer IV, it cannot make the kill from that period. I like the fact he's got Panzergrenz up here in this northern ridgeline. Maybe an AT gun could come in, a Pack 40, and at much closer range, that would have a much better job. But uh, I'm surprised Sean isn't pushing this Guardia DP. You can see the front line, especially it's moving forward, but he can see the front lines, you know. He can see there's something in this area to have the front line in this position, so I'm surprised he's not moved the T-34A because right now there could be an AT gun pushing up into this forest. And and actually, yes, he's reversing the IS-2 Comrade, so I think he now maybe sees the possibility of an AT gun uh, coming into this forest. Um, potentially also the IS-2 reversing to... Um, because he's pushed forward, he's nothing's engaged him, so he might just want to reverse into a safer spot. Um, and I feel like potentially it's one of those two things. Either he's he's thought actually I'm in a risky spot because of this southern forest, or he's pushed up. There's nothing there. There's nothing engaging it. There's nothing he needs to engage, so he's reversed again. And I like, well, there's a pack 40 coming in here from Trista Command, but I, I would like to see it move up into this northern side. Um, Sean reloading his Gvardia DP here. We don't see this often, but reloading the uh, two DP-28 machine guns. The Panzergrens are going to come forward, but as soon as they reveal themselves, they're going to get fired on by the T-34E. And uh, Sean now reversing the uh, Studebaker back again. Just topped up the ammunition of that Gvardia DP. Beautiful work. Right, over to the northern side. The uh, two T-34Es have pushed forward. The commander's in full retreat. And there's three Panzergrens in the uh, woods. And it looks like the VZ Vard might go down. They need to push back in, though. Um, hopefully, oh no, the T-34Es, I think they have spotted the Panzergrens. They will open fire and hopefully... I'm not. I'm kind of surprised by this order. He's kind of moved them slightly closer. They have no anti-tank weaponry. They can't take on the T-34E. I'd like to see Trista Command, you know, move those back out of line of sight of those two T-34Es because they are going to go down if they stay in the same position. The Panzergrens kind of almost cut off, and will the surround go in? Looks like it's going to connect. No, just. There is a Panther A coming into the central ground, but uh, two Yat-1B bombers coming in again, and uh, the Panzergrens, they're in a tough spot right now. If they get cut off, it's going to be even worse for them. One of them pinned down. The Ognamachiki is lying in wait. Two falling back, and um, they may well just fall back straight into the path of the Ognamachikis. I'm surprised Sean hasn't kind of moved these ugly cheekies a bit further south to try and get the surrend uh, the surround and then the surrender. Oh yes, the uh, Panzergrens retreat straight back into the face of the uh, Ognamachiki flamethrowers and uh, surrender as soon as they're found. Oof! This Panzergren just revealed it. You know, just recovered from its retreating state just in time. But uh, two Ognamachiki units will probably take out that Panzer Gran. And um, I'm surprised Sean isn't microing those two units to uh, to do that. More Xenot 37 mils coming into the field just to protect those e, um, IS-2s. And there's a Xenot 85 anti-air flak piece on the field now. I love the sound of these flak guns. Look at that, it's beautiful. This game is absolutely beautiful to watch. Oh. I'm sorry guys, back to the action. 
So the uh, the 85 is firing, or it was firing on the infantry, and I think there was possibly a couple of vehicles over here. There's a Panther A very far forward. Um, it's taking shots at the sapper. I'm surprised Sean didn't... I think he's maybe going around for a side shot. I'm surprised he didn't push these T-34s into that Panther A, because at this range, I reckon they have a penetration chance. Looks like they've discovered the Panzergrens moving across the open, and ouch, they're going to go down... There's a Gvardia Comrotti coming in to uh, refill the um, veterancy or, or veterancy buff. And there's the surrender. Well, not the surrender. There's the time worn down. 20 minutes, 50 seconds. Sean picks up the victory. And uh, that was Tristan Command's first game that we've casted. Uh, he does come off pretty with a pretty sore loss from that. But I, I liked... The way that Trista Command um, kind of pushed down that southern side. I'd like to have seen him get a pack gun in there. And uh, potentially we could see more of Trista Command in the future. And uh, I'd be looking forward to watch him develop as a player. This really was a rough time for him. Getting basically one of the, the top two players in the entire world. Uh, and as a potentially his first... Um, foray into the competitive world so really uh like i said a trial by fire but i think he um maybe he could look at some unit choices hopefully sean's giving him some uh, tips after this game i'm not sure whether um trister is Ho hopefully I, I think he's a russian player um by the uh russian tag but uh maybe uh amber t could give him some tips um i think potentially some of the unit choices with the bow battery and the grill um, he could look at uh, making some changes. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of Trista. Um, because those those early commanders as well, very interesting uh, play. But um, not necessarily the wrong call. I mean, we, we saw Sean with the early commander. Uh, and all the leaders buffing his infantry. So yeah, I would look forward to seeing more of Trista command. So the Zis 3 gun picked up a number of kills. That did very well. The uh, Sapri. We we know these are very strong units. So the nerf thoroughly deserved. And uh, look forward to seeing less. Although not much less. <laughs> Only one less in A phase. Um, and uh, two less in B phase I believe. So, um, But the Sapris and the Pioneers. Very strong. So good nerf by Eugen. The uh, IS-2 coming in, not really doing too much, but uh, I think the game was kind of sewn up. Sean got himself in a nice position at the start and uh, just kind of held and let Trista push into him. Uh, and that's really why, why we've got the losses as they are. So let's have a quick look at the result. Um, Sean picks up the victory against Trista Command. So he goes through to the uh, semi-finals. Only eight players in this tournament. Um... But look forward to seeing more of Sean. He will play the winner of either Amber T or myself. <laughs> so I am playing in this tournament. It's going to be interesting. I'm quite decided how I'm going to cast my own games. Because I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, more of these Brawl on Breast games. We're going to be doing a game every day until we finish the tournament. So uh, look forward to plenty more of Brawl on Breast. And uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure at the moment how I'm going to cast myself. Uh, maybe you guys can drop in the comments what you think. Do I do I kind of try and treat it as a normal game? Um, and <clears throat> excuse me. Do I try and treat it as a normal game and uh, cast it as though I'm kind of casting a different player, or? Do I treat treat it differently? I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, but congratulations to Sean. Commiserations to Trista Command. I'd like to, uh, if Trista's watching, I'd like to see you in more uh, tournaments in the future. I think you're a bit unlucky to pull off the draw against Sean there. A very good player. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of you. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have... Uh, hit that like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, also subscribe if you've not subscribed yet, so you don't miss any of the ball on breast action. And uh, we will pick this up 
tomorrow with a new Brawl on Breast video. Look forward to that. I am Angry Bird. I will see you tomorrow.